Hello and welcome to this tutorial for the card game Guillotine. It's a simple and humorous game, but I guess that makes the theming it after the gruesome and bloody event in the French Revolution maybe a bit in poor taste. My friend donated this game to me because she simply couldn't agree with it anymore. I understand what she means. On the other hand, it's not real, it's just a game. If you're okay with it, then let me explain to you how to play this game. You are going to play three rounds. Then, whoever has the most points wins the game. You count all the points at the end. Some points you get from the people you've beheaded, like this one. These are points. And maybe you get some bonus points from these cards. This is an action card. It could say, for example, you get one extra point for every blue card you have collected during the game. So, if you have three blue cards, like these, blue, 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 you have three extra bonus points at the end of the game. So again, there are three rounds and you can count up all your points. If you have the most, you are the winner. There is nothing in the game to keep track of which round you're in, so you have to keep that in mind or come up with your own solution. A round is finished when there are no more people at the guillotine. Now we have all these folks lined up. When they're gone, the round is over. Next, what do you do when it's your turn? Very simple. First, if you want to, you can play one of your action cards. Those are the cards that you have in your hand. They look like this. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can play one of these at the start of your turn. And the second thing you do is take the card that's all the way at the front by the guillotine. Take it and place it on top of the other people you've beheaded. You have to make a stack. And finally... You end your turn by taking one card from the action card's deck. Even if you didn't play a card during this turn, you always take one. And that's it. A little recap. When it's your turn, 1. If you want to, play an action card. 2. Take the card that's all the way at the front. And 3. Take a new action card. And that's it. This is how you play Guillotine. We've gone through it so quickly. Let me show you how I play one full turn. Before I do anything, I'm going to take a good look at how the people are lined up near the front. The first card is worth one point. And then the next one is minus one point. And the card after that is worth five points. If I want to, I could do nothing and just take this card that gives me one point at the end of the game. But of course, I should really try to see if I can do anything that can bring this card of five points up to the front, so I can take that one instead. Let me have a look at my action cards to see if I can do anything about that. Yes, I have this card that says move one person forward up to two spaces in the queue. So, I play this card. I say it out loud for all the other players to hear. And then I take the card with five points and move that forward one, two spaces. I put my action card on the discard pile. And then I take this card that is right at the front 
and put it on my stack. I end my turn by taking a new action card from the deck. You always do that. That's it. Guillotine is an easy game. I've got three details for you. The first is this one. Look at this card. Instead of points, this card shows you a star. So how many points is it? At the end of the game, this card is worth as many points as how many cards like this you have. Because there are more cards exactly like this one. Here. Now I have three of these cards. At the end of the game I've got three of these. So each card is worth three points. Three, six, nine. Nine points. Next detail. Have a good look at the cards on the table. The people lined up in front of the guillotine. Because some of them have a text on it and you need to know all of it. It's possible that one card somewhere in the line says that you have to move it to the back of the queue whenever someone plays an action card, for example. Make sure you play this game correctly. And the last detail. There are action cards that you don't discard, but place in front of you. But the card will tell you. It will literally say, place this card in front of you. And there is one, only one, action card that you don't play when it's your turn, but when it's another player's turn. But again, the card will say so. So, to wrap it up, you play the game for three rounds. Whoever has the most points wins. The round is over when there are no more people left in front of the guillotine. When it's your turn, maybe play an action card. Then you must behead the person at the front. And you take a new card. You're good to go. Take your time to read all the cards. And keep in mind, it's only a game. We would never do this in real life. Because board game people are friendly people. Thank you for watching this tutorial. And see you for the next one.